My guest today on the show is one of the most celebrated Nigerian music video directors and UAX is introducing us to another side to his art with this debut album titled Love and Hustle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's no cap, sit back and relax. And all my life I swear nobody can take away your place from me Your place is safe cause you're my one and only They got too crazy so I dip to the pooch Like tight, catch a flag and neck that put up no, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Hey guys, welcome to No Cap, and it's another exciting day on No Cap. And today is quite, it's very special because I have someone who, how do I go about it? I've been following this guy on Instagram since at least maybe 20, maybe way back, maybe 2017 or 18 or so. <laughs> and you know, exactly, No Cap. <laughs> and you know, um, and I had this connection, you know, with his work as a filmmaker as well and everything. But it never crossed my mind I was ever going to meet him. And today, I have him here on No Cap. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only UAX. So excited, honestly, so excited to have you here. Wow, like, bro. you have no idea. <laughs> and by the way, in case you don't know UAX, UAX is, I mean, is a special. You should go check out his videos. I'll start from his video work and then we talk about what, what this particular podcast is about. Nice. Um, which is the music part, but like you guys have shot videos for the likes of Thames, you know, um, I can go on and then Oxlade, Rema, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, nah, but it's yeah, a, it's I, a long I, list. I, as far as I, yeah, <laughs> as far as I remember, like it's literally shot for everyone and it's not just videos, but you need to watch these videos to understand why I am like, you know, <laughs> so excited, you know, I'm, 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 what do you call it? Like when a fan, like I'm in a, um, you know when a fan finally meets Starstruck. <laughs> exactly, I'm starstruck. You know me. <laughs> no, but for real though, I, I know good. Uh, but the thing is that you make it really easy, to be honest. Thanks, like, man. you know, I'm, as I'm much as chill, and man. there are few people, funny enough, in this world that I think I would be starstruck about. Oh uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, because my interests are quite, you know, um very streamlined. Like right, right. I could like people, but I could even follow your work or mm -hmm. listen to your music, but I might not really be starstruck when I meet you. But like with you, because I've had like connection. serious connections. So I appreciate really good so to much, have man. you on Thank here. You. Thanks for having me, man. It's Where do we start, good. man? This conversation, I'm tempted to go everywhere, but um, I'm going to try my best to be as focused Yo, as I can. Dice, <laughs> I the dice. Let's go. But back. yeah, um, before we go into the music, I'm, you know, the first thing that I thought about when I, you know, first found out that you're now making music mm -hmm. is... What? Like, <laughs> how did it happen? Why did it happen? Has music always been part of you? Is this something you're playing around with? Mm -hmm. Or something happened and it changed everything? Like, I just, I'm mm -hmm. like curious why. I think I've always had like a very holistic view when it comes to art. Okay. So whenever, you know, back in the day, like I decided to do or to become a creative. Yeah. Um, It was probably one of those things where like, I had to create something and I had to be the one that maybe filmed the video and I had to make the soundtrack ah, and I had to I edit. So, and that carried along, you know, for a while. Yeah. So I've always never looked at, like, I look at creativity as one thing. Mm, interesting. So it's like, even if I walk into a room and there's so many things that need to be done, like, I would I would be involved with every single one. So oh, if, if I'm making a film and the film needs to be scored and then it also needs to be directed and they say, yo, we need somebody to do it, I'll be like, I'll I'm the guy. <laughs> and, oh, that's and, nice, that's and, interesting. Yeah, and, and then um, it just carried along like that. But, you know, um, like we were discussing off camera, yeah, it's easier to start certain things, like film, you need cameras, you need exactly. all equipment and all that it's stuff. Part. When you're young, you yeah. can't really, you don't really have access to it. So I definitely do remember music being like my first love interesting but it was a secret <laughs> it was yeah a secret it was a secret because <laughs> like maybe not so much of a secret it was like coded secret yeah, because like yeah. you were doing a lot of music yeah, videos yeah, so yeah maybe that was your own way of yeah. <laughs> you know it's, uh, yeah and it's also my music is very personal so mm. um it, it was never like the easiest thing to just start sharing Mm. some of these stories at the time you know yeah. you're, you're young your mind works differently so I always kind of just kept it close to me I make music to cope with mm. my myself and my life you know so um, <laughs> yeah but I'm, I'm I'm in a different stage now and I think yeah the world the world can the world can know me a bit more now right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. yeah I think so so let's talk about um, love and hustle 
First of all, as, yeah. as yeah, let's go to Love House because I know that's what you want to talk about the most. Yo, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm open, man. I'm yeah. open, I'm open. <laughs> so I know you're promoting uh, Love and Hustle. I've yeah. I've actually listened to it. I started listening to it um, pretty recent. I know you're also pretty uh, pretty yeah, recent. Yeah, just April 26th. Oh, okay, still, cool. Still very young. yeah. So I'm, I'm right on time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I totally love it. Thank but you. before we even go into it, I wanted to find out, you know. Um, like um so now you you decided okay it was time for you to share music mm -hmm. did you first record like different songs and then after everything you're like you put it together and like okay now i think this is an album i should put it out or you actually sat down and said to yourself i want to record an album mm -hmm. what was your process like for making yeah um that's actually an interesting question i think it's it's been like a bit of both mm -hmm. As as a music artist or as a musician or as an artist, the yeah. one thing I prioritize the most would be writing. Mm. So I'm constantly, like as opposed to just singing in the shower or making melodies, like I'm constantly thinking of my bars. Let me use that term. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. constantly think, And it's like, you know, just thinking of cool ways to describe what I'm going through or, or to describe a situation or just, I don't know, just anything. So, um... The decision to when the, the decision to make the album came about, it was more so I was like, okay, now I need to start. I need to. I've written so many things. Mm. Now I need to. What's the story I want to tell? Mm. And the concept of law and also came about. So I was like, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to focus on these themes that I've already worked on. Yeah. So I kind of did like have an idea of where I wanted to go with it, but it just took like a whole lot of fine tuning and yeah. intentionality because mm. you can you can write like I have a book with just so many things you yeah. know? but then when to compile the project like it was I had to be super intentional and just start like curating in that way and and it happened pretty seamlessly to be honest mm. like I there's nine it feels, songs. It feels seamless, definitely. Thank you, man. There's, nine, there's yeah. nine songs on there. It could have been 20. Yeah. It could have been 20. It could have been 25. <laughs> I, I, I listened for a first project. I was actually um, expecting, when I first heard about the yeah. project, and, you know, yeah. I was expecting that, okay, maybe it's going to be like a five track thing. That's when I saw it, I was yeah. like, it's impressive. I think that was why I also <laughs> called it an album because yeah. everyone does EP. EP exactly, EP. exactly. To be honest, I don't like the word EP. I, I don't think it, it, it rolls off my tongue naturally. Like, right? EP. So I was just like, it's an album. Um, it's a body of work. It's a yeah, project. Exactly. Call it. Yeah, so, um, exactly. I enjoyed the process, really. I did. Okay, I, that, did. I mean, it sounds good. And, and it reminds me of, you know, the way art re usually plays out. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a thing where you have an idea of where you're going to. But, you know, um, you might have a mood board or ideas and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but you don't for sure know yep. that you're going to hit that, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah, it's very relatable in yeah. that sense, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, you know, nine tracks on the, and like I told you off camera, mm -hmm. the truth is like I'm an album person, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like I like to listen to body of work. Yeah. I like to, I like some consistency, like right. I like take me from here to there, mm -hmm. right? And one of the things, like I was telling you, even with Whiskey's album, because I'm a big Whiskey fan. Same. Uh, his last, <laughs> his last album. Um, you know, I, I, I just felt like with the track arrangements, if if they did it differently. I mean, mm. at the end of the day, it's his project. Yeah, yeah. But from a listener's perspective, I just knew or felt like it could, could be arranged been. better. Mm. One of the things I noticed first with your with um, Love and Hustle was how seamless, mm. you know, from track one to the ninth track, how you felt like you just know you're still within yeah. a setting, even when the tempos change yeah. or when the yeah. beats get, you know, so I love that about Thank it. You. And I'm wondering, did you sit down to do this by yourself or did you have like a team mm -hmm. to help you out with, you know, arrangements and all of that? Um, definitely did it by myself. Mm. Um, the... Actually, <laughs> so many people. It's 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 very good to hear you say that honestly. Um, after now now that it's out, because before mm -hmm. it came out, like so many people were of the opinion that the arrangement was kind of messy. Really? Yeah. And, <laughs> and they were talking about it from. They say, ah, no, you're supposed to put this banger first. Oh, yeah, that's he's the one wrong. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of them. He's one of them. And I And I understood that idea, especially mm. coming out, you know, first first time around. Yeah. And also understanding, like, the listenerscape that we have here in Nigeria and how mm -hmm. sometimes people people could, they could switch off easily, you know. Yeah, like, yeah true, and, true. and, but 
it was more about the story hmm. than anything for me. And yeah. I kept so I kept saying I was like, look, there's a story. There's a story here from track mm -hmm. one to nine. Like there's yeah. actually a progression story-wise, yeah. not just musically. Yeah. And if I don't stick to that, it won't feel right for me. Yeah. And I won't feel like I will feel like I have cheated the project. It if makes I sense. it could have gone, to be honest, we could have still been having this exact same discussion if we did it another way. But like yeah. the track list as you see it now is the track list from the beginning Killing. of this process. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but again, still, big shout out to my team. Um, TMX was the executive producer on the project. Oh, interesting. Um, now you featured him on, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, tracks. We, that, like, I mean, just based, if, it, 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 it could have been a scenario where it was like, UAX, TMX, or the whole way. But like, I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. It's my project. These are my babies, you know. Yeah, but I, definitely we just wanted, I wanted people to know, like, that, I, I definitely, I had the project done already to a certain level before mm. he came in. Um, mm -hmm. But he came in to like put the icing on the cake. Mm, yeah. And that's not, an icing on cake makes cake yeah, much sweeter. You know, it's, sweet, it's, right? cake yeah. is sweet, but it's, like with the icing is ice. better. So I don't take, you know, <laughs> that for um, granted. The, 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 the time that we spent together like working on this for granted. Um, mm. He definitely also really helped me with, in terms of like, like I said, I just write sometimes. I write mm. and I, I, like, sometimes I make my songs without structure even. It would just be so, in terms of arrangements, yeah. you know, like TMX really came in and did his thing. Mm. And uh, I'll always be grateful for that process. Interesting, like, interesting. Yeah. That's, that's dope. And uh, I also talking about TMX. We, yeah. I also know he's on, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, he's on uh, uh, Lagos Too Crazy. Yeah, yeah, he's on yeah. Lagos Too Crazy. So if you, I, if you go on my Instagram, yeah. there's a version of Lagos Too Crazy that I put out last song. Well, like when I wrote the song, mm. um, I put out like just me singing the song and it's, it's fire. Mm. That version is, it's just nice and slow. It's oh, smooth. interesting. <laughs> so, you know, bringing it to TMXO's table, TMX was like, yo, this joint, we could take it Another, another step, step. Up. and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But he was like, no, no, no. Like he, he was, he was like, no, seriously. Like you can, you can have this track on this level. It will still work. Mm. But then we can take it to another level that gives even you as a performer, you as yeah. an artist, like just it will give you new wings with the track. And I trusted yeah. him on it. And I, I mean, listen to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. I like yeah. that rap feel because I'm yeah. more of a hip hop guy. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so I definitely love that you had. Um, that sort of collaboration on it and yeah. by the way it's one of my favorite tracks another nice. one would be um um night shift night shift yeah night shift because it has a gangster bounce yeah, to it. yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. <laughs> there's just that thing where i feel like it's for it's for i don't know how to explain it but it's like for the real nicks. yeah exactly <laughs> exactly you just it's just it's one of those tracks that you play and you just like you, to reassure yourself yeah that yeah. you know as a hustler as someone who's creative or someone who's got a vision mm -hmm. that's not easy to achieve or whatever I, that's what i get from the track yeah. and you know it's just amazing to be honest you, i'm, I'm and i think you're probably the first um person who i'm seeing transitioning you know from mm -hmm. from like film to music even though we just said now that it was actually music it was actually first. music first yeah you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but like to get to your level uh, right. when it comes to film to yeah. make that transition it reminds me of some people who have done transitions in other spheres like Producers. for example actors actors have done which yeah, yeah. it's almost always <laughs> whack I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't call anybody's name but like most actors transitioning from from my friend will actually be upset for you, but I'm not talking to you. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, most actors, that's one of the biggest transitions I've seen, like people transitioning from acting to right, music. Right. But to see a film director tra transition to music, I don't remember if yeah, I know yeah, anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, which moves me to my next question. Um, are you still going to be doing film? Or, or is this like, a thing where you want to maybe like a, for the next one year or two years you want mm -hmm. to just focus on making music like how how you find trying to yeah find balance? um yeah i think for me like i said earlier like to me the the whole art thing is it's just one ball yeah. for me so the fact that i'm now focused on putting myself out there as an artist mm -hmm. doesn't in no way mean like i've lost you know a step like I'm yeah. still daddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> can say that again. <laughs> you know, like, but um, no. I think it's just also me now realizing. Like, I realized when I wanted to take this seriously that I definitely had to. You can't. Music is not a side mission. Yeah, it's not a side mission. That's very like, true. As as much sure. as I I had I have treated it as a side mission. Like you know, in the past, mm. 
trying to do it at the level that I'm doing it right now, it's not a side mission. You need to come Facts. in. You need to, you need to, like, just change the way you're moving, exactly. the way you approach things, the way you approach people. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so I had to have a serious talk with myself and make that sacrifice to, like, just put film as far as like the music videos on mm -hmm. hold for a bit because i love i love what i do i love i, mean, I love hell i love <laughs> i know you love people's it. stories yeah it's also yeah. been just like i said like, I, I might not be the most directly like i'm not like social like by default mm -hmm. but like i'm the nicest guy <laughs> you know so <laughs> yeah actually you can say that <laughs> so again like, yeah like because i mean today was the first time i ever met yeah, you yeah, person yeah. And like, like, you know with me, I'm always open to meet people and all of that, mm -hmm. but like, I'm never, I don't know what to expect. You know, I have no expectations, you know, but so I, I it could be that, but like the moment you walked in, first of all, I was expecting that, oh, when you get here, they're going to let me know you're here mm -hmm. and then I'm going to come right, down. I just, meet, I just walked up myself. <laughs> You just walked into the studio and I'm like, yay! And, you know, I, I was and downstairs and I heard my music. I was like, no, I know where I'm, I was like, I know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that was it. And yeah. from that, from the jump, yeah. we just started talking. So yeah, you're, you're yeah. really a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, so, um, but again, like, just understanding that I, I'm going to have to change my approach to everything yeah. um, at this time. So I, I had to, I was like, yo, if I keep just... If I remain in the service sector, mm -hmm. like of, you know, being a part of people's stories and, and enjoying that part of life, like I wouldn't have enough time for myself. Mm. And to make music, at least the way I make it, mm. I need a lot of me time. Yeah. Like I Makes need sense. a lot of me time, you Makes know, sense. so I haven't, I haven't really, I haven't shot a music video in like a year and a half or let me just even say two now, wow. which... It's a huge sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, like it's, it's honestly like I can't. I can go into. I can go into that conversation for a long time. But like, I'm happy I made the sacrifice. Mm. But moving forward, um, I've directed my own videos, which mm. have been cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, which have yeah. been cool. I don't want to do it again. To be honest, <laughs> I just want to be an artist. But um, I'm just now looking more into actual film. Like I have a short yeah. film coming out this summer. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. So I've been more obviously doing less. Mm -hmm. but just okay now I'm taking more time like the short film I have coming out this summer mm -hmm. I'm actually plug it right now it's yeah, called please. Kimono Kid it's oh, a film nice. um, with uh, Joseph Adamu written by Joseph Adamu mm. and um, directed by me mm. um, an amazing piece of work it's wow, going to I do a lot for I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, wait, it's amazing man. we shot it in, in Lagos oh um, nice yeah you know so just doing more work like that mm. so I, I wouldn't have to you know, Sacrifice. shooting like three videos every month. <laughs> now I could just do yeah. one or two things in a year and, 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 and make more impact down the line and also mm. just have it be more tied to me mm. as opposed to, you know, um, working. Service. Yeah, like, yeah. So that's film, films forever, man. It's, yeah. uh, it's, not, it's not going to be my body I mean, forever. Before I asked the question, I actually sort of knew, but mm -hmm. like, I just wanted to hear from Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not, it's not going yeah. anywhere. Like, it, it's, it's, it's always, it's always going to be a part of it. That's dope, man. I, I like that. And it, it, to be honest, uh, just so far in the conversation, you've actually been able to also help me answer certain mm -hmm. questions. Cause like, with me too, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I don't want to call it a struggle, but like, you know, there's music, there's mm -hmm. film, there's photography, mm -hmm. you know, there's writing, mm -hmm. all, you know, all kinds of things going on with me. And then sometimes, like, recently, I also just, you know, put out music because I'm very experimental with music right now. And before I did that, I was like, oh, but like, you know, it's, you know, I'm a film guy now. Like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I just keep this music side to myself. But then you actually breaking it down, I think it's also very helpful for a lot of creatives. I know a lot of creatives who are, film people but also have music going on and this yeah. this you know conversation within like you know I, I can't so I yeah. think just to let you know that what you're doing is also going to help a lot of people actually Thanks, now man. get the yeah. confidence yeah. to say that you know what maybe I can do this just, too just you know it. like there's and, no it's, it's again it's all in it's all in our minds like I, yeah. I, I went through the same thing for so long like you know and then you're also working with all these big artists that are doing yeah. incredible things but don't look at the don't look don't look all the way up just look look right in front of you right and if if you feel like singing my guy sing just go for <laughs> it <laughs> sing. like yeah go for it that's yeah. that that's really dope now let's talk about um you know um um lagos i know you're more of a lagos guy yeah, yeah. um if not totally a lagos guy i don't know how, born, and raised, born and raised oh, yeah. that's dope, yeah. you know? um what i mean by that is that i'm more of an abuja guy mm -hmm. so i went you know this um i'm always interested to hear people's impression 
of what Abuja is, especially as regards music mm. and entertainment, especially mm. if they're coming from Lagos. Yeah. So my question yeah. is, uh, I know this is not, obviously not your first time here and all that, but of all your experiences in Abuja, mm -hmm. how would you, um, for lack of a better word, compare? I don't like co yeah. comparisons, mm -hmm. but like, how would you describe, what, what feels different for you? What's the difference like between Abuja mm. and Lagos? In terms of um, what we do, mm -hmm. like, you know, this entertainment stuff, I feel like Abuja is definitely so heavily untapped. Mm. Just based on, like, I asked, I even asked you the question. I was like, yeah. Yeah, this is such a crazy space that you yeah. have going on here. What's the traffic like, you know? Because yeah. um, Abuja has better locations. I feel, I mean, maybe not, when I say untapped. better, it's just like untapped. There's yeah. all these, like, the geography here is crazy. Yeah. The roads are so dope and yeah. wide and like it looks, you know, so yeah, especially on weekends. Yeah, right? you know, like and and I, I, I get I get around Abuja like easier and I don't Facts. get bothered as much. There are not boys everywhere and yeah, you know, like that makes sense. I'm I'm sure obviously there's spaces I went to um there's one place I don't even know what it's called. It's like it's like rocks and then there's water somewhere. Like oh, that. so that should be like Papi. You see that Papi? I, I, I don't forget Crush the name. Rock. It's Crush Rock. Crush Rock. Yeah, yeah, it should be so that, that spot. Papi. Yeah, and that's the only place I've been to in Abuja. Like some boys tried to, but it wasn't oh, even on. Yeah. So, it wasn't even on some super agile <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, it was just like. You know, yeah, I know so those guys. They just been started because they, yeah. they saw everybody knows what's yeah. going on now. Yeah, so exactly. it's, it's it's calm and like I really really wish. But I understand it's not easy, like, sometimes to move a whole crew down here and, and equipment. So, yeah. to be honest, man, I, that's, I'm happy this sort of space exists. Thank happy you, people man. like you exist Thank out here you. because it, it. it's it's good to know. Mm. So, word gets back. And when it, when it gets, like my song says, Lagos too crazy. When it gets too yeah. crazy, just... Exactly. <laughs> come out here, man. I, I love being in Abuja. And mm. I definitely love, I love creating here. I mm. spent the entire pandemic here. Um, the entire lockdown, yeah. the entire lockdown here, and I, I, I was, I was in a very, very good headspace. Mm, interesting, you know? yeah. Interesting. And, um, it's a vibe I would love to just recreate all the time. Interesting. That's that's good to hear, and I, I, I very much agree with you. You know, um, I think that I've also had like some experience, experiences in Lagos, mm -hmm. and you know, I would always say that man, Lagos, <laughs> Lagos is, I don't know how to put it. Like it's, it's. It's crazy. Hey. <laughs> Lagos too crazy, man. Hey. Lagos is crazy, man. Like yeah. it's um I mean my experiences in Lagos have been quite, you know, like controlled. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I get picked in the airport, you know. So it's not like I've really gone mm -hmm. too much on my own in mm -hmm. Lagos, but even that has been a you it's know a madness, crazy. Yo. I'm like madness. Madness. <laughs> I can stay here for maybe two weeks or one. Uh, <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure if I can survive longer. You, but you need to have different like if you're not used to it, mm. it can honestly just it can crush you. <laughs> I tell people that it can actually crush you. But um Lagos is home man too too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have two things I like about Lagos a lot is also the energy. Like you it's undeniable. There is so much activity. Like you're driving past here, you probably see like five people on different street shooting music videos. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we don't do that enough in mm -hmm. Abuja, mm -hmm. you know. So that's the culture I'm missing here. Yeah. Like here, you could drive for two months and probably only find like one music video mm -hmm. on the street and stuff like that. I feel like that part of the culture is really missing here. So I love that about Lagos. Yeah. But and then second thing is also I'm a child of the ocean. So hey, hey, nice. <laughs> so I I mean I wish we had we could just dredge that ocean down to Abuja. It would yeah. make a lot of sense. Isn't it? But there's some like lakes and yeah yeah yeah. I mean yeah but, like I, just regular beaches. Yeah there's none yeah, of that here. Yeah there's yeah. yeah there's yeah so um, I, I try to go to the lake every now and then because I have to have that connection yeah. every now and yeah. then. So, yeah, I love that. Then um, something else I wanted us to talk about would also be like, um, how how many more videos are we looking at? Are you looking at putting out to mm. Especially because you're <laughs> a visual guy. I know. So I'm expecting a lot of videos, if not all the tracks. <laughs> it's so funny because I get asked this question a lot. And it scares me because I'm like, I... I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. But if I had my way, I'll do a, a video for every single record. Like, you know, if I had my way. I, don't, I know that's not going to happen this time well, around. you have your way. Ah, brother, <laughs> you know it's you. <laughs> you know? I like how you um, say it. <clears throat> it might not happen this time around. I, I have a video for Evergreen. Mm -hmm. out yeah, now. I saw that one. I did really shoot, nice. We did shoot a video for Ever Seen. There's mm -hmm. another song on the tape called Ever mm -hmm. Seen, the second track. We have that mm -hmm. coming. I might do two more. Two more. You know. Whatever you do, you have to do um, night shift. 
I have a video for night. It's not a video. I have a visualizer for night. Yeah, whatever it is, I just yeah. need. Yeah, I have that. I have that. That's have the that. thing. Like, I like. Let, that's another thing we need to even talk about: videos and visualizers. Mm-hmm. Do you think that what's the future of music videos? Because, like, honestly, I see a lot of visualizers, and sometimes I actually love the visualizers a bit more. There's an intimacy. There's a yeah. It's a plain form to mm-hmm. visualize us that I really like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Music videos, yes, I mean forever, but <laughs> you know, yeah. do, you, do you think that? Uh, and, and because of the budget involved in music videos as well, I think that that I think that that's what actually started the whole concept of visualizer, <laughs> right? The budgets, like music videos, are expensive. We all know, yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, and they've gotten as far as Nigeria goes. I think it, it took us here maybe a little more time to catch up with like budgets mm. you know facts like and i know will i say my set you say my <laughs> sets like i know how instrumental we were in making sure that we got paid mm. at least closer to what our counterparts like outside were getting paid because yeah. we we're putting in all this work and or or even let's not even talk about us getting paid just having access to enough resources exactly. to do dope, dope like to do much better work you facts. know um, so I was very, very happy, especially when, you know, the international wave really started happening and mm-hmm. then all these labels from outside, you know, started, started being the ones to fund fund these videos. Mm-hmm. But I, I wasn't surprised when the visualizer started to become a thing. Because right. people go come meet us for video. By the time we knock budget, they say, how? Ah, okay. So how much for visualizer? I'm like, bro. But at the end of the day, yeah, like even now, Steph, the lines are even getting more blurry. Blur, yeah. The lines are still blurring because, mm. like, some people will come to me and say visualizer, but like, I'm, I'm still, sh- I'm still, I'm, I'm just still gonna shoot. shoot like, I'm still gonna do see. some, some, some crazy shit. You know? Yeah. Can I cuss? Can I say yes. Shit? Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, um, it's it's good and it's bad to me for for our industry. I don't know about outside in a mm-hmm. way because now. When you look at like the younger directors, for example, somebody, someone messaged me and said, "Baba, now wow, now when we were one blue, we everywhere they do visualize I was saying, "Now when we were going to the race, we nobody want to shoot music video again." And I said, "Oh man, like I understand." Yeah, but, that's crazy. But just even even at even on that level, like even on the visualizer level, just still still put give your it your best, best. For, like still because what is this thing really about? Is it about other people? Is it about you? Hmm. Is it about how you want to look back? I haven't, like I said, I haven't shot like for a year and a half. And to me, so like, it's already past life. But like meeting people like you now, it just mm-hmm. inspires me because I'm like, man, like look at stuff that I've already done and forgotten. Yeah. Still making impact. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's what I feel it's really about. Yeah, about above everything else. Like yeah. impact, 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 Departs. impact. Down the line, how many years when we were, we're older, we have kids. Yeah. Like, I, I still want to be able to show them this. But we're not to now have a bunch of work that I just did because, because of the money. I was chasing the bag or yeah. this kind of thing, you know, which is also why I was really selective um, as a director. So, like I said, the lines are really blurring these mm. days. Most artists, they know they really want a music video. <laughs> but they come and say, no, I only get money for it. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know what I mean? But then they still demand the world yeah. um, from, you, stop it. Please. Like, stop, stop Exactly, it. Yeah, you yeah. guys, man. Yeah, Especially, I have so many of my youngest complaining. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's even worse in Abuja, to be honest, because um, I, I can barely say there's any proper in terms of budget mm. any at all proper mm. music video shots in Abuja wow. in terms of budget because like you know I don't know for some weird reasons and it's also maybe a vibe of the city and it's also mm-hmm. how uh, one of the things that I said is missing like in Lagos you know it's like it's like how do I you know this this competition like you want to actually do get yeah, the best, yeah, you yeah. know. But here we're very laid back. Laid back. Very laid back. I mean, so look at your city, man. We have visualized our people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and also, let me just say this. There's nothing wrong with <clears throat> visualizers. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. So let's even remove that word. This is you the word content. This yeah, stuff I is just content, content yeah, at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. How I got into this thing was because whenever far back like I started like I always just wanted to have cool videos of myself mm. and I couldn't get it done because people maybe my guy or my friend just wouldn't understand like how I'm exactly. seeing things yeah. so I'm like okay you know what you stand here let me shoot it mm. you st- and then it could it could just be as simple as just put the camera find a nice background put the camera and then just maybe a nice track in you know yeah. and it will sell the song It's it's about the moment it's about the vibe it's about the music so yeah. there's nothing wrong with visualizers but yeah. 
don't ask for visualizer and then and we next. back in <laughs> music video demands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like let's 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 keep both lines, both exactly. lines clear. Yeah, like exactly. You know, is that uh, a perf- yeah, yeah, let's, perfect understanding exactly, of yeah, that? Yeah, but that's really that's. I mean, that, that's really dope to be honest. And um, you know, um, to to even um, think that you know um, how you went into making videos. I think it was similar. I I did like a short film. Mm-hmm. I used to write, just nice. write, and then um, in the process of making the film, I wasn't happy with the results. And because I got everybody, I, all I did was write and direct, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't happy with the shots. This was way back, and for some reason at that time I was a sick, sick perfectionist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, and because I, I didn't put it out until yeah. today, yeah. and then at some point I lost the footage and. So today when I look back, I'm like, oh, I, I always, it always haunts me that when I put out and, yeah, you know, yeah. but yeah, that's also what made me pick up the camera and, you know, get all of that. But yeah, it's so great to have you on the show and, Thank you, you know, man. be able to discuss, you know, music and, you know, videos and all these things. Yeah. Um, for now, definitely guys, you have to check out you know, uh, love and hustle because I've played it, and all I can say is a beautiful body of work, Thank and you. you should definitely um, check it out. And yo, UX, I wish you all the absolute I best. I wish you all the best too, with, with music and everything. Me, of course, you, now you know you have a personal fan because <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother has Because man, I'm gonna hate man. you all, all the time and yeah, just yeah, tell yeah. you, yeah. you know, cheer you on, and um, Thank you so looking much, forward man. to linking up in Lagos and wherever. Anytime, and bro. Anytime, I really just appreciate you stopping by. Anytime. And yeah. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you.